Hey guys, my name's Chip and welcome to the video. So, something a little bit different today. Some of you may know, some of you may not know, I am involved with the Drama Alert News Team. I started off as an intern, kind of grinding my way up a little bit, and now I manage one of the teams. So, obviously I look after the team itself and the news comes in. We kind of sort through what's good, what's bad, and then Keem will go away and make the videos. As you probably do already know, Drama Alert was taken down last night, along with a lot of other channels that Keemstar owns. So this is kind of just a video just to give you a heads up and just my reaction on what I've seen. Now, I've seen a lot of people last night when it all came out that their channels have gone down, um, you know, laughing, thinking it's funny and all this. You know, oh, Keemstar deserves it, Keemstar does this, Keemstar does that. Why does he deserve for his channels to be removed? No matter who you are as a YouTuber, I would never wish for you to have your channel removed because this is either a source of income for you or something that you really enjoy doing or something that you just have a big interest in. <clears throat> Why would you ever want someone to lose the channel unless they are the biggest scumbag in the world? Now, Kim's a lot of things, but he's not the biggest scumbag in the world. Drama Alert is the voice of you guys. He reports on what's happening. He'll stand on his soapbox, he'll say what's happening, but all times without an opinion, always impartial, like a news uh, like a news team and a news show should be. He just reports on what he's seeing. Now, some of the hate is just ridiculous. If the guy on the news turned around and said, somebody had been murdered and, and, and you like this person that had been murdered, would you hate the guy that told you that the guy was murdered on the news? You wouldn't know. Because he's just telling you what's happening. Drombler is exactly that. It's what you guys tell us is happening in the community. Now, reasons why I think Drombler is a good thing, and I know you might think I'm being impartial, because I'm part of the team and I do manage one of the teams there, but my honest opinion, and even before I was a part of Drombler, is that it's a good thing because it protects the smaller people in the community. And if people are being scumbags, then we tell you. And we'll let you have an opinion on it. I just can't understand some of the things I'm seeing and the way people are reacting to it. Over 120,000 subscribers on that channel. And the views averaging probably around 140,000 views per video uh, overall. You know, maybe a little bit less. Say, say 100,000 views per video at least. And there's massive interest in this. And rightly so. Because... It's like your daily digest. You know, what's going on on Twitter? What's going on on YouTube? Oh, I know, I watch a drama alert video. Now, you might not always enjoy every single video, but you tune in and you watch them. And the viewers tell us that you are watching the videos and you keep coming back and watching more videos. The likes are higher than they ever have been. So I don't see how people can think that drama alert is a bad thing. It brings the bad out. It, you know, weed the bad people out in the community. And my God, there is shitloads of them out there. People that have no morals, that are just disgusting in what they're doing, it's, it's awful. And without Drama Alert being there, these people can just keep going. No one will give a shit. No one will know about it. Only the people that really follow them. Maybe a few other people that might lose a, a few friends, you know, in the bigger channels. But the little guy won't find out. Drama Alert is the voice of the people, the little people in the community like me and you that see this shit going down on a daily basis and think, no, that's wrong. And then we bring that news to Keemstar and he reports and says, the community are saying, this is wrong. And the most times he gets it right. And I really do feel that the show serves a purpose to you guys in the community. I feel that it is a voice that you listen to. I feel it's an opinion that you... Um, you know, you want to hear, not Keemstar's opinion, the opinion of the community, which is what he brings, and I think it's a good thing. Yeah, don't get me wrong, there have been some stories that you might not enjoy, there might be some stories about a YouTuber you like, and you might not be happy about it. <clears throat> but these guys are only on the show if there is a very good reason for it. Now, you know, without Drama Alert being there, how are you going to know what's going on in the community? Would you miss Keemstar if he wasn't on YouTube anymore? Well, I know I would. I've liked Keemstar's videos for years. He's an entertaining guy. And no matter what people think uh, of him as a person or an entertainer, he is a nice person. 
He's a good person and he's got a good heart. I know him quite well now. And, you know, I had my opinion of what I thought he was like before I knew him. I you know I just thought, well, he's a bit of a sketchy guy. He's entertaining, you know, I wouldn't really trust him. Now I know him and now I've worked with him for a while. I do trust him. I've offered to give him my YouTube channels if he needs them. It's, it's not a problem. If, I'll do anything I can to help Keem out and to help Drama Light out because it's something I'm passionate about and something that I feel, in my opinion anyway, is a good thing. I just don't agree with the way that people have just basically shit-talked everything about Keem and yet they'll still come back if he does get the channels back and watch his videos. You know, they're fans, but they won't admit they're fans. It's just, you know, it, it really does frustrate me sometimes when... I see things like this happening in the community that people hide behind their little keyboards, sat in their ivory towers and think that the things they say have no consequence. Everything you say has a, cons a consequence in some degree. It might not be face to face consequence but it all has a consequence. It's Kim Sar's birthday today, I want to say happy birthday to him. I know he's going to have a shit day because of what's happened. I'm hoping that we can get the channels back, we are working hard to do that, we'll keep you posted on that. Uh, if there is a drama look video tonight, it will probably be on this channel. Kim's asked me to make a drama look video for this evening, and we have got some news to report on. Um, let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Let me know what you think about drama alert. Let me know what you think about Keem Star. Let me know your honest opinions. I respect everyone's opinion. You're all entitled to an opinion. You know, I might not always agree with it. You might not always agree with mine, but I will always respect somebody that has the the guts and the balls to say I don't like somebody, and this is why. Because then we know what's wrong, and then we can maybe either change something, or just give your honest opinion back. Hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, drop a like rating, if you're new around here, subscribe. I mean, I make GTA 5 videos, but I do tend to say dive into other things. Drama will not die, guys. I promise.